J.D. Naja, Word of Truth, coming to you from Malibu, California, in beautiful, yeah, Leo Carrillo State Beach. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. My oh, man, this place. The devil is at work everywhere, people. That was a rocking coffee I got over in Oxnard. I spent the night in the truck last night in the back back there. I still have a little bit of adventure left in me. Not much. I'm not... I don't know if I'm lazy. I don't care. I don't. I like to enjoy life now. I don't like to chase after shit. I'm tired of chasing after things. So what I'm chasing after now is knowledge of myself, knowledge of my God. Who is my God? So we're talking about, I don't have my beads. I'm not going to do it. I'm tired. Didn't sleep all that good last night. Um, yeah, when you're in the back of the truck, you kind of get nervous that someone's going to come up on you and go, you hey, can't sleep here. But so I was on my back a lot last night. I was probably waking myself up all night snoring. But anyhow. Um, there's that. <laughs> so, we're talking about why can't a rich man why can't a rich man make it into heaven? Why is that saying it's easier for a camel this guy's gonna I'm surprised there's not at all kinds of accidents right here. Why is that? Why can't? Why is it easier for a camel to pass through a needle? Because if you're worried about riches, if you're worried about how you look in the world, if you're worried about Gaining fame, prestige, makes me think of that movie, The Prestige, with uh, the guy that played Wolverine, him and... Uh, Man, I can't remember these guys' names anymore. I used to be good at actors because I, I, I wanted to be the, the hotshot that knew all the actors. Uh, the movie The Prestige, the, um, the whole theme was about, oh, uh, it was uh, Christian Bale. He teaches the other dude about wanting to be the best. No matter what, no matter what this guy did, I forget who, which guy played which part, but there was one guy that always pulled the strings and the other guy that always got fucked because he was, he was trying too hard. He wanted it too bad. He wanted it so much that no matter, it was so obvious to the other guy what, what he was going to do because he was, he was living in spirit. And the other guy was living in false self. If you want to watch a good movie about this false self ego, um, it's called The Prestige. Um, yeah, really good movie. So 
this prestige, this this false self that we try to promote to the world, this this fake fakery, this theater. That's one of the biggest that's how you know you're you're riding with the devil. You're trying to you're trying to portray something. Do you notice that I don't give a shit what the hell you think of me? I pick my nose, I, I my eyes are all watery, my hair's messed up, I'm not well shaven. You know why? Because if that's the way you're go going to see me, that's your problem. I don't care how I look to you. I don't care how I present to you. Why do I just curse and cuss and say the fucking things I say? Because you're not my fucking daddy. And I'm not your daddy. So, let me read it so we get a, get a better idea. Why can't a rich man get into heaven? We're still in James. I just stay where I'm at. I just read the Bible and I teach the Bible. I don't jump around trying to prove things that aren't real. I explain what is in the book as best I can and with the spirit that I am. A very well-traveled spirit. James, we're still in the book of James, verse 1, chapter 5, rich oppressors rebuked. What's, what, what's James saying right off the bat? Rich oppress, oppressors. Judges, police officers, council members, governors, presidents, Bosses, bitches, Barneys, whoever this, whoever this person that has something, they think they have something. Oh, I have title. Oh, I have the money. Oh, I have this. I have that. I have the, I have the power. I have the authority. I have, he's not talking about just money. When he talks about a rich man, a rich man is one who's rich in his own mind. He thinks he has power over you. He thinks he he's going to push you around. He's going to oppress you. He's going to bully you. Why? Because he's false. He doesn't realize that's what a lot of people don't understand. Do you think, do you think all these pieces of shit false selves that have abused me over and over and over again every time I come back you think I'm not a setup the Lord puts his jewels out here to see how people will treat them and I'm not saying I'm anything other than just a child of God that's all I have to be that's, I know I am. I know I am. I know I am. So if I know I am, how dare they not know that I am? I know they are. Why don't they know they are? I am. Do you understand? Because they've given up that part of them because they don't see the value in their spirit. They see the value in the flesh. Do you understand? They see their value in their power. They see their value on this fucked up plane. They're giving up everything. You're only here. It's a vapor. It's a joke. It's a, it's a play. It's a play. Let's read it. 
maybe we maybe you can understand better if I read it to you go to now you rich men weep and howl for your miseries that shall shall come upon you <sighs> What's coming? Miseries and mourning. Why? Because when they come back to the spirit world, the Lord's going to say, Why did you not listen to my servant who knew who I am and knew who he was? Why did you deny him? Why did you deny yourself? Why'd you deny why'd you deny me in you? This is what the Lord says. Those why did he tell Peter you're gonna deny me three times? Because Peter was David. David was a bloody man. Flesh, blood. Come on, sir. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Why do I not care? This is this is nothing but a big shit pile. It's corrupted. It's a shit pile. It's what's inside of me that's fucking on point. Your garments, your whole body is a corrupted shit pile, moth eaten. What is your body's full of holes? Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. What's the rust? Can you imagine what the rust of them is? The rust. Rusty. The red rust. The shit that, that oxidizes you. That's, that's the shit that these fucking wicked ass fake false selves are, leave on a s spiritual body. When I come before the Lord, every bit of fucking nonsense, lies, bullshit that gets attached to my soul by trying to fucking help these wicked fuckers is going to witness against them. You think it's not. That's what he's saying. That's what James is saying. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. Where are we? We're here, people. Every time you come here, it's the last days. There is no fucking harpazo. There is no rapture. It is, it's continually that. Fucking time warped fucking monkey brains think that time is something that you can understand. You can't understand time. Oh, yeah, we're all going to be raised up together and blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Yeah. It's going to feel like that. You know why? Because we're when the gathering, when it when it's time for the gathering, it's going to feel like that. It, it, it's going to feel like that because all of a sudden we're all going to be there. You're going to be like, wow, that was quick. Why? Because we're a vapor, this time-bound bullshit. Fuck, man. Behold, the hire of the laborer who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cries. Who's that? That's me.
Just another angel reaping this field, baby. Just doing my job, just like Jesus Iscariot, just like Satan, just like whoever in the Bible that the Lord put out here to trap these false souls. These fake, ego-filled rich men, these rocking, ripping. He cries, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Anybody know what that means? The Lord of armies hears my cries. Why did, why did Lahaina burn down? Why did it burn down right after the fucking devil was trying to tell me something that wasn't true? Why was, why, why? The Lord's telling you, telling me, telling them, listen, I'm hearing my, I'm hearing my servant cry. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? I believe it. He's like, oh, okay. Let me, let me show you this one. This is my life. He burnt down that place where me and the devil got married as a fucking warning. Should she be calling me right now? Going, Jeff, I'm so fucking sorry for everything I've done to you. I'm so damn sorry. I understand now. She should. Will she? She feels it in her heart, but she can't say it with her mouth. Do you understand what's going on here? The reapers, the harvesters, the ones who water, the ones who who pluck up, the ones who pull down, the ones that replant, the one Everybody has a job, people. What are you? Are you a tear or are you a wheat? Are you going to get burnt up in the fire? What's it say? The, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Did we just go into that yesterday? Yes, we did. Fire. Burning down your shit. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to go in and have breakfast and, and take a walk, look at the waves. Get ready to surf, maybe, probably. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. What are the last days? You have heaped together. You have heaped treasures together in the last days. Not good treasure. You have lived in pleasure on the earth. And have been wanton. What did I say? Hungry ghosts. Spirits that know not what they need. Know not who they are. Know not who others are. That's the scary part. If you don't know who you are. You're going to walk right into an angel and fuck him up. And man, you're going to be sorry for that shit. People don't get it. People think it's a game. <sighs> these, these false selves, they think they're gaming us. And we're gaming them. I've been saying this since the beginning. This is nothing I don't know. I know the pattern. I know the pattern. (sighs) 
you have lived in pleasure on the earth. Verse 5, James 5, verse 5. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You're big and fat and ready to be fucking taken. If you think that you're playing games with these with these angels out here. You think you're playing games with spirits? You think you're playing games with spirits? <sighs> You played yourself. You played yourself. You, false selves, verse 6, and then I'm going to close out. Because I think you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, you better focus, get some focus, figure it out. You have condemned and killed the just. And he does not resist you. You have condemned and killed the just. And he does not resist you. <sighs> what is what is James trying to tell us, people? Let me explain as quick as I can. They've fucked with me over and over again. These women, these courts, these police, these, these false selves. And for a long time, I tried to show them, I'll play your game, but I'll only play it as a spirit. And as a spirit, I played. And as a spirit, I succeeded for the most part. Because I, I have victory. But what these false selves, what these ego-infested parasites don't understand is that they've taken so much from my spirit. They've stolen from me. They have killed me. You kill the prophets by not listening to them, by not respecting their authority, their angelic knowledge of themselves. And then you have these people out here claiming to be us, claiming to be me. I don't hear these guys talking about how fucking rough these devils have been to them. I don't hear them saying that. I don't hear them saying, I know I'm a fucking angel. I know I'm a son of God. I know it. Hopeful? Are you fucking kidding me? No. Ho I'm, I'm hoping every motherfucker that fucked with me gets his due. And I know it's going to happen. There is no hopeful. I don't wish for things. I know things. I don't wish for things. I know things. When I pray, the prayers come true. It's, it's that, that times are over now, people. You know how I know? Because these things, I'm not submitting to these devils anymore. It's time to stand up against these fuckers. Stand up for yourself. It's time to get up. Stand up.
It's time to show who you are. It's time to be who you are. And you know what's going to happen? Let me see what I got. Everyone's going to be exactly who they are. There's nothing you can do about it. You're going to be who you are. Unless you can really pray to the Lord and say, I understand J.D. Nijah. I want to I wanna understand, Lord, who I am. Don't hurt me. J.D. Nijah, word of truth, I'm out. <laughs>